Hello everyone, uh, today in this video we will discuss about corollaries of first law of thermodynamics. Uh, so, actually uh, first corollary is uh, these exist a property of a closed system. The change in value of this uh, property during the process is given by difference between heat supplied and work done by the system. So, these corollaries exist a property of a closed system. So, in this closed system, uh, we can say d e d e is equivalent to the difference of change in heat minus change in work. So, this is the first corollary of the first law of thermodynamics okay. and uh, this is the second corollary. Second corollary is for n for n for an iso isolated system isolated system both both the heat both the heat and work heat and work interaction heat and work interaction heat and work interaction are absent are absent means d q is 0 and d w is also 0. So, as per the second corollaries for an isolated system for an isolated system both the heat and work interaction are absent means there is no heat and work interaction at all. So, here d q is 0, d w is equal to 0, then we can say from this law d e is equal to 0 or e is equal to constant. Okay. So, energy neither can be created nor be destroyed, it can convert it from one form of energy to another form of inertia. Okay. So, now we will talk about the third corollary. So, uh, in this uh, corollary we will talk about uh, P M M 1 perpetual motion machine first. So, perpetual motion machine first P M M first or 1. Uh, is uh, to be discussed in this uh, video. So, actually uh, as per this uh, P M M 1, there is a uh, colliery third states that there is no machine, there is no machine is possible which can produce work continuously without absorbing energy from any source any source suppose uh, this is the p m m 1 p m m 1. So, as per this uh, corollary it is considered that there is no heat input means heat input is 0, but this uh, device is providing work. It means without any energy input this device is providing us work w and this is impossible. So, as per the third corollary P M M 1 kind of machine is impossible. So, we can say no machine, no machine, no machine is possible, is possible which can which can which can produce produce work produce work continuously continuously without without absorbing 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 energies energies 
okay so from the first law of thermodynamics from the first law from from the first law we can say sigma q is equal to sigma w but sigma w is equal to 0 is uh, not possible okay so there is no device or machine is possible which can which can provide us work continuously without absorbing any energy so this p m m one kind of machine is impossible so this uh, is the third corollary so there are some limitation of the first law of uh, thermodynamics for the closed system so these limitations are limitations limitations of the first law of thermodynamics so actually uh, first condition is sigma del q is not equal to sigma del w when closed system undergoes the thermodynamic cycle okay and no direction is specified in this case so here we can say uh, no direction is uh, specified for the first law of thermodynamics for the closed system and second point heat and work are mutually convertible mutually convertible and uh, work can be fully converted in the heat but heat cannot be converted fully in the work because heat is a low grade energy heat is low grade energy heat is low grade energy sorry heat is a low grade energy while the work is high grade energy so high grade energy can be converted into the uh, low grade energy fully but the low grade energy cannot be converted fully in the high grade energy and here work is the high grade energy and heat is the low grade energy so thanks for watching this video all the best